Hey guys, welcome to week three of Thankful Thursdays. This is a series, if you haven't seen it already, where I tell you what it is that I am grateful for this week, and in return I ask that you also leave comments telling me what you are grateful for, so that we can just spread a bit of positivity here on YouTube. So with that out of the way, let's do this. Historically, January has always been a very, very difficult month for me, emotionally. My mental health always seems to take a bit of a hit in this month, and in the past I've had to double my anxiety medications in order to keep depression at bay. However, as I'm filming, it's currently January 16th, which obviously means that half of this month is over. And for reasons unknown to me, I haven't been affected by it this year. I don't know what it is. It, I haven't done anything different, really. Like I haven't, I haven't increased my dosage. I haven't started taking vitamin D, which is another thing that I usually do to sort of combat the winter blues. I haven't done any of that. And yet somehow there's not even a hint of it there. I will admit that my productivity at work has not been the best. But I attribute most of that to the fact that I currently don't really have any deadlines in place. A lot of my court matters that were going to go forward in January, we've actually ended up resolving all of those issues, so I don't have that additional pressure of a looming deadline over me, which is usually my biggest motivator, to be honest. And, and also the sickness that I have, I think, is also weighing down on my energy levels, but I haven't had a day yet where I feel like I just need to stay in bed and basically nest. And I am so grateful for that. I dread the winter every year. Come like November, once the snow starts flying, I can just envision it. I start getting really stressed out around Christmas time because I know once all of that is over, I'm going to be hit hard and it hasn't happened this year. And again, I don't know why not. I'm not going to question that too much, but I'm just so grateful to be myself this month. It's, it's such a relief to me, um, and it really gives me a lot of confidence going into next year. If I can have one good year, this is the first good year out of, gosh, as many as I can remember. I mean, going back to before Aspen was born, like January has always been a really hard month for me. So. The fact that it's not this year, it means that next year could be good as well. And that's going to save me a lot of that mental anguish leading up to it because there's hope at this point. And I'm just really grateful for that. And I wanted to share that with you. So that is what's bringing my heart happiness this week. I would love to hear from you on what you are grateful for and what's bringing you joy. It doesn't have to be related to what I've talked about. It could be anything. Just let me know. I think we can all stand to see more positive comments and just really take the time to reflect on what is going well in our lives because the negative usually stands out so blatantly obviously that sometimes we have to dig a little deeper to see what's positive. So let's share, let's cultivate that down below. I look forward to reading your comments and I will see you in next week's video. Until then, just stay kind. Bye for now.